What do you need for a great party? A group of friends and the drive to have a good time. Here's the first recipe for fun. The friends sit on chairs. Each girl has a simple bottle container. Hourglass is full of colorful candies. The task is to pour them into the other bottle as fast as possible. Turn the hourglass over, but very carefully. Keep the candy from falling out. This turns out to be a very exciting contest and it's also very tiring. Come on, come on! Who's going to be fastest? Place your bets. The last candies are pouring into the bottom bottle. Betty wins! Sorry, Kylie. Oh. But there is so much candy, it's enough for everyone. Maybe some candy will comfort the losing side. Uh -huh. Now you are going to need straws. Spread them on the table at equal distances from each other. This time the task is really acrobatic. Put a straw on your fingers, throw it, and catch it. Oh wow! Sounds easy, but it's hard. And the hardest part is, the number of straws increases every time. It's a good thing Kylie's the judge, so she doesn't care. But the contestants are really nervous. And so, the friends get to the end of the table. Everyone's got a bunch of straws in their hands. They are so nervous, but Betty wins. Here's another contest. This time the props are everyone's favorite Oreos. Put a cookie on each participant's forehead. They'll have to eat the Oreos using only their faces to move them. Oof, this is hard. Okay, Michael lost. Mm. And Kylie looks like a one-eyed pirate. The faces the guys are making oh. are worth a whole photo shoot. Your support really helps. Michael is close to winning. Getting mm -hmm. tense. Goal! The cookie is in the goal. I mean, in the mouth. Yay! Kylie's disappointed again. <sighs> Okay, here's another game we can try. We've got two tables with paths made out of tape. Let's provide the contestants with cubes of light foam rubber. Now move them along the route. Without using your hands. You are only allowed to blow on the cube. Well, let's see how they do. Don't let the cube come off the path. You can't step on the line either. Don't rush. Looks like Ryan knows because he's winning! Bring a can of soda to the winner! Time for a new competition! Pillow fight on chairs! Girls, again! Kylie and Carrie climb on the chairs! The girls are ready for a fight! Okay, looks like Kylie went overboard! Next! Candace gets up on the chair! This is one soft fight. I think Carrie's about to lose. But no. She's in the lead again. Oh, who's wearing high heels? That's a big risk. Penny is clearly confident in her abilities. She shouldn't be. Falling from heels is way more painful than just falling from a chair. And Carrie's looking for a new fighting partner. Hmm. All right, who's next? Betty? Hmm. No, the person hiding behind your back. Hmm? Michael? Looks like Carrie thinks she's an MMA fighter. Well, let's see. Unbelievable! He didn't even last half a minute. And now, let's make a little art. Kylie gets against the wall. And Betty puts a piece of paper on her back. And she starts drawing. And Kylie's job is to replicate the drawing by the movements of the marker. A line, another line, a triangle. Apparently, Betty's drawing a dog. But what Kylie does isn't all that similar to a puppy. Has she never seen a dog or something? Okay, enough games. Let's move to the next challenge. Place a dumbbell on toilet paper. The goal of the game is to pull it closer by rolling the paper. 
You think that's easy? Barbara and Betty don't think so. The paper is thin and it could break at any moment. And they'll have to start over. But Betty manages to pull it off. And now the Mad Tea Party Contest. Attach tea bags to a baseball cap. The girls need to throw the tea bags using only their heads. Michael is getting popcorn. This is so interesting. It's like Mary and Kylie are dancing, but not in sync. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. From the side, it looks really funny. In the end, Kylie's cap just comes off, but the tea bags fall down properly. But is that fair? Nope. Let's try another game. The contestants will need towels. Lay them out on the floor and sit on top. And move around like this. What an exciting race! Michael takes the lead. And Betty's coming off the track. Maybe Michael cheated. Kylie and Cindy's turn to race. Woohoo! One, two, three, let's go! Crawl ahead! The girls are moving almost in perfect sync. But Cindy's taking the lead. And now it's Barbara and Alice. Let's go, worms! They come to the finish line almost at the same time. But Barbara is still a little faster. So, what did our friends come up with this time? I think it's some kind of shooting range. Tie a rubber band to the legs of an upside down chair and pull it back to aim at the target with a clothespin. It's not so easy to hit the bullseye. Everyone's missed so far. Michael and Betty let their friends try. And Nikki's taking the lead. Great accuracy! But Colin has good luck too. Kylie is counting the points on the board. Girls or guys, let's see whose team is best. Well, it's a tie for now. Let's see what happens next. Looks like everyone is winning. Here comes the new contest. There are two balls on one table and upside down glasses on the other with beads hidden underneath. Now you have to carry the ball to the bowl without turning the glass over. The only way to do that is like this. Spin, ball, spin! Not everyone can do it. That's okay, one more try. Wow, is that really possible? Turns out it is. Well, since someone did it, everybody wants to try it. Yay! How about juggling? No problem. But Betty has a better idea. Orange race. You need to hold an orange with your foreheads and reach the end. Ready, set, go! Who's going to get there faster? Boys or girls? The girls are doing a better job. The third orange is already in the basket. Yay! It's time for a victory dance. Join us, guys! Alice came up with another drawing game. Betty and Kylie have long strips of paper and containers of paint in front of them. The participants are given brushes. Don't hold them in your hands, hold them in your teeth. The task is to draw a line along the length of a sheet of paper. You literally have to crawl with the brush in your teeth. Such a creative thing! Betty's artistic skills lead her to victory! Kylie's a loser again! How about playing with paper plates? Pick the contestants and build a tower out of disposable glasses and plates. Like Jenga or a house of cards. The structure is very delicate and could collapse at any moment. 
But Alice knows the secret art of balance. And Ryan doesn't. Hey, you destroyed my building. How dare you? Ah, it's a paper battle. Run for your life. Did you enjoy our party games? Well, then hurry up and tell us which one you will use for your party. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and remember to click the bell to keep up with more bright party ideas from Troom Troom Select.